Oh, really? <laughs> I couldn't. I would feel horrible for it. It's a note from Papyrus. Oh, this ought to be good. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is the trap. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize you that you aren't progressing. They're only japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. It's unplugging the microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. <laughs> I kind of want to eat some. Oh, it's frozen. Eh. Morning dog marriage? Okay. Jerry came too. You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away? Ah. Oh, crud, it's Jerry. <laughs> Return of Jerry. Awkward. Wow, you guys suck. Fuck you, Jerry! I mean, it's probably true, but... that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm. Here's that word smell. It makes me want to eliminate.
Are you actually a little puppy? Oh god! Ow! Well, we all knew that. We have tail bones. Um, Oh, yes. So that's what, like the fourth person that's come in here doing that? What? How did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? I need to help prepare a spat of spaghetti. Uh, yeah, I ate some. Really? Wowee! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, for what's not human, <coughs> I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> yeah. Human? Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so... I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere we're at. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to tire the puzzle yourself. He knows you want AFK. I'll try not to give away the answer. Fuck. Okay. I think I screwed that up. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Uh -huh. Whatever. Reset it. Okay. I 
got this. This is. I didn't mean to hit that. Okay, can I go around it without hitting it? Okay. <laughs> no, I already screwed it up. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. <sighs> that would do it, but it wouldn't... You solved it! And you did it all without my help! Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> oh god, this is killing my threat. Excuse me. I love doing his voice, but by God, sometimes. Hey, why didn't you ask for help? I was right here. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alphys! You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch... They will begin to change color. <coughs> Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, the blue tile is next to a yellow tile. The water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide into the next tile. However, slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? <laughs> um, yes. Great! And there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random! When I pull the switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready!
Oh, oh god. Uh. Uh. Papyrus? Is he okay? Actually, that spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. Papyrus! <gasps> it's a doggy! Hi, doggy person! This dog is staring blankly in the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Dog, please pet dog. Pet dog. Pet dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. Probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Well, that's harsh. Oh God, it's one of those. Whoa, hello. It's a snow papyrus. Snow papyrus. a bird on my head. Puppy guard? Oh god, barking! Barking!
I may die here. Aww. <laughs> oh my god, he gets back in his armor. <laughs> that was so cute. Okay, I know what you meant. Yeah, I'll be trying that down next. I guess I didn't have to do that again. Oh well. not weird or anything. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that, that just kind of happened. <laughs> Kills me every year, what can I say? <laughs> Stocking filled with chicken nuggets? What? this place? It's a door. I 
have no healing items, so I... That's true. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. You've got to be kidding me. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because... I am about to do it! <coughs> well, what's the holdup? Hold up? What hold up? I'm. I'm about to activate it now! That, uh. It doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems. Maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Oh, but I would take the puppy. Okay. Phew. What are you looking at? This is another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Heh. 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 I don't know what my brother is going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. There's that box. Should I open it? Snowed in. Yeah. We're all snowed in. Okay, I just wanted to ask. Alright, so I have- the, the spider donut's still in there. Should I just leave it or should I just go ahead and take it? Oh uh, yeah, that's a good point. But I should still leave the donut in there, yeah? I just want to make sure that I'm not, you know, screwing things up. Okay. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? You're a bunny!
You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Girl please has food. The library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons in their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and... Uh, asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the old cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Ah, fair point. lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee -hee. I agree, bun buns are adorable. Awful teen tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is at EG. Uh, this is what I needed it for, huh? Okay. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. The fuck? <laughs> oh my god. You look like you had a great sleep. Mother three ghosts. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. I just wanted to buy one more he healing item. Just be on the safe side. That was rather amusing. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Oh, I see. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's uh, politics! Accurate. Okay, uh. I am not <laughs> sure about this place. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help. I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. For centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Aww. Hmm. 
Is it human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Yeah. The f what? <laughs> Thinking of getting a spiked color to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and walk take me for a walk, please. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. How? If I put on a line for some girls today, I put on a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I am literally going to make out with a fish. <laughs> you know, that's not something I expected to say today. <laughs> Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undine. Or Undine? No, Undine. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. <laughs> Capital's getting pretty crowded, so I heard they're just going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. Slip onto their butts. <laughs> into their butts? Jukebox is broken. <laughs> Groby said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Aw, well, thanks, dude. Everyone is always laughing at cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Furiness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Not with that attitude, you aren't. I all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Wait. Librarby? Am I reading that right? Okay. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Okay, I wasn't imagining things. I love working the, on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. I look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Love, hope, compassion, this is what people say monster souls are made of. The absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Oh, harsh. Okay. Fearing the humans no longer, we pulled out of our old city home. We braved harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat we reach what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn to, into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh. I had the page minimum yet. I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> Monsters are mostly made of magic. Human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. 
But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monster's bodies are attuned to their soul. The monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, what's in the chapter here? Yay, overflowing mailbox. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. Do JRPGs make sense yet? Depends on the JRPG. I don't know. Oh, goodness. What have we gone for? Oh. Let's play monsters and humans. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. sure felt boundless. You're not gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, uh, so that's where the ice is coming from. else back here that we needed to do? <sighs> uh, should I end it there for the night then? I mean... trying to determine. Alright, I'll go ahead and end it there then. Um, okay, well, that'll be the end of that for now. Um, I'm up a little while longer. Not too much, though, because uh, I got stuff to do when I get up. <laughs> So, uh, that was fun. I mean, I, I dropped frames for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. It was fine earlier when we did Trove. Well, anyway, um, that's it for Undertale. Buy a bunch of spaghetti. Spaghetti. Or is it what my friend Mike says? You're full of spaghetti. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you, Umbra, a little bit later. And as far as chat goes, well, I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Bye now. <laughs>